Hey guys, what's going on? It is Steve A134, and as you can see by the name of the video, I'm here to talk to you about the kill streaks that you can get in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the what? new kind of nuke they got in the game, and the customizations you can do the kill streaks. So we're gonna get right on into it, and we're gonna go. So the kill streaks in the game, they will have five day customizations for each of them. So like, let's say you have a UAV, you can also put on there like uh, one of the things is extra assist points. So. There's 12 kill streaks so far we know about, but there may or may not be more. And uh, I, I'm just giving you the information that I found out. So first we have the 400 points for a UAV. Uh, so with the UAV, some of the uh, customizations you can put on it is 150 50 points to get extra assist points. If you put 300 points on, you get threat detection. Put another 300 points on, you get um, uh, support. If you put 200 points on, you get scrambler. For extra time with your uh, UAV, you get you have to put 100 points on for speed. Like so, the ping goes out faster. That's another 100 points. Uh, enemy direction, kind of like the arrows for advanced UAV. Like in uh, I think it was Modern Warfare 3, so you can actually see which way the enemy is going. That's another 200 points. And orb, there's you can put orbital on UAV for 300 points, which means I think it's gonna be like it's in space, so they can't shoot it down. So your UAV is there no matter what. On like a UAV airplane, like flying around instead. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, next is going to be the Aerial Recon Drone, which is 400 points. I don't know like what this really is. Uh, you can, but uh, you see, it's 400 points just like the UAV. But a thing in Advanced Warfare, you can use uh, streaks that are the same streak level. Just so like in the past games when streaks were like both 400 points, you couldn't use them both at the same time. Now you can because I guess they realize oh you're going to be probably changing them with the customizations anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, but if you did have two, like, let's say 500 point streaks, as soon as you get that 500, you get both kill streaks. Like, I think that's going to be awesome. Uh, next, we have the Orbital Care Package, which is 500 points. Right now, all we know is it has double double tap for 200 points, which means as soon as that thing comes down, like, in, I, I don't remember which game it was. Maybe it was, like, uh, Mountain for 2 or something. I don't even remember. Uh, where you can hit the, like, if you hold, if you, like, double tap X on the Care Package, you get a new... Uh, things so if you had a UAV maybe you have a chance of getting like a Harrier strike or something in a different game for this one Maybe like you get a UAV and you roll and you get an aerial recon drone instead or something I don't know and then you uh, for another 200 points you can get be better odds So a better chance of a higher kill streak uh, And then for 600 points you can put support on there So like you know how support classes go uh, you like if you have this on it'll, when you die your points will still count for your, for your next uh, score streak uh, After that we have the aerial assault drone for 550 points it's kind of like a vulture I guess like something that follows you around and shoots the enemies I I don't I'm pretty sure you can't control it, but I don't know maybe like that would be one of the uh, the extra customizations you can put on we don't know any of the customizations yet because they didn't show anything so next is system hack uh, that's 600 points we also don't know anything about the customizations for that but I it kind of looks like it's gonna be like a kind of EMP but for like exo suits so like the other team won't be able to use their exo suit abilities or something like that that's just my speculation I really don't know if that's completely 100% true but uh, I don't know we'll find out in about I don't know like four days uh, next is the remote turret for 600 points it's uh, it's obviously just a turret but for this it doesn't go automatically sentry if you want a sentry turret, you have to put another 200 points on there, so it would be 600 point, I mean 800 point streak, which I think is a little bit much, but I guess that's what they want to do, so it would be too overpowered, I guess. Uh, you can For another 100 points, you can put rocket turret on the regular remote turret. Uh, for, instead, if you want direct energy, that's another 100, which is just a laser beam. Then, for another 100, you can put rippable on it. So, like, in Halo, you know how you can take off the the actual like machine gun part of the of the turret you can do now do that in advanced warfare for another 100 points then what i think is really cool is there's a 360 turret head so if you have sentry and 360 turret head that thing's shooting all around like no one's gonna get past it uh next is heavy resistance for another 100 points that's uh so it can take more explosive damage kind of like giving your uh thing like i mean your sentry gun i mean your turret god i can't even talk right now your turret uh blast protection i guess and lastly, for another 600 points, you can put support on, which most of these have, like, you can put some kind of support on. Next is the XS1 Vulcan, 600, which is uh, 600 points. It's the laser beam from space. That one looks pretty cool. Uh, for 100 points, you can put on overcharge, which increases the beam's length. Uh, 
for another 200 points, you can put light show on. It's three ro rotating lasers. And then for another 300 points, you get extra burst. So instead of just going once across the map, you can do it a second time. Uh, I do not know if the rest of these, I don't think, uh, say, say they have support, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be when they uh, show you the other customizations to it. Uh, the next one is going to be Missile Strike for 600 points. I think it's going to be kind of like a house storm missile. The, they showed it, uh, the one killing the Goliath, where it came down like in a rain of missiles. I They didn't show us any of the customizations, of, but I think it might be like, one of them might be, it comes down faster, or bigger blast radius, or maybe it might be support too. Uh, next is Bombing Run for 700. It's kind of like a Warthog, I guess. Uh, like where it just goes across the map, like bombing and like in a straight line i believe for extra 400 points you get additional bombers so you get two jets instead which would be pretty cool uh and for another hundred you get something called flares it it kind of it's going to deflect stingers so it's going to make sure your uh your bombing run stays up there even longer uh, then for another 300 you get care packages so it says care packages so you might get more than one care package which i think is going to be awesome because then you have a better chance of getting more stuff that's going to help you later to get another one of these bombing runs then for 100 100 more points you get a stealth so it's basically turning this regular warthog or your bombing run into a stealth bomber from Modern Warfare 3 i think it was Modern Warfare 3 at least or Black Ops 2 whatever so it won't be detectable on the map so nobody will be able to run away from it uh, next we got the the higher kill streaks, and uh, so first it's gonna be uh, the Warbird for 800 points. Uh, this thing looks crazy. It's kind of like a I don't know what the I forgot like a chopper gunner I believe it's called. Okay, so for another 300 points you can put rockets on it. For another three points, 300 points after that you can put aggressor on it, which means an AI controls the Warbird and like so it controls itself. So you could still be on the field killing people, but you get points from that thing killing people too. And then lastly, you can put another 300 points on. I mean, put <laughs> for another 300 points. I meant to say, you have a Warbird wingman on there. So someone, while you're up in that Warbird, somebody can come up there with you, and then you like control. I think a, it's a light machine gun on the side. Like, ba 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 ba, you're killing everybody on the side that you can't see. Next up, we got the XS1 Goliath for 800 points. Uh, this thing's the kind of the super exoskeleton that you can get into, kind of like going in an Iron Man suit, I guess. Uh, for 100 points, you can get a recon on it, so it's kind of like an uh, XO ping, I guess, like in your vicinity. Uh, for another 100, you get trophy, you know, the trophy system. Uh, then another 100 is homing rockets, which is going to be awesome. You just shoot it, and it's going to go straight towards the enemy. Then it comes the highest kill streak. It's called the Paladin for 1,000 points. That's right, 1,000. Holy shit. For another 200 points, you can get laser-guided rockets. For another 300 points, you get a 105 millimeter cannon, which I don't know what this cannon is going to be, but I think it's going to be fucking powerful as hell and OP. And then lastly, you get uh, Wingman for 300, just like the uh, Warbird does, and you can bring a friend up with you. It kind of looks like, <laughs> uh, when I was looking at it, it looks like the Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Hell Carrier. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh... And lastly, what I want to talk to you guys about today before I uh, leave you guys is the DNA bomb, which is going to be the new new uh, KEM strike or MOAB of this game. It's uh, the hidden kill streak, obviously, and but it's different than from the other ones. It's not just kill streaks or score streaks that you need to get it. It's a thirty gun streak. That's right, thirty gun streak, which means no point streaks are going to help you. And it does, but it doesn't end the game at all. But it spreads a green mist across the map. I don't know what this green mist is gonna do, but uh, apparently it, uh, it might be kind of like you know how the EMP mist is. Maybe uh, the enemies won't be able to use their kill streaks or UAVs or anything. But it goes that away after a minute or two, so your map goes back to normal, like nothing ever happened. Uh, but uh, but it says gun with the gun streak. I'm not sure if it means that like your lethal equipment or your lethal exo uh whatever's the grenades and stuff i'm not sure if that's going to count towards your gun streak because it's a gun streak and i'm not sure if knife kills are going to count either because it's a knife and not a gun obviously so tell me what you think in the comment section below what you think this is going to be any anything that i should comment on before the game comes out i'm trying to get all the information i can out to you guys before the game comes out so you'll be best informed and ready to play so this has been steve124 and i'll talk to you guys next time peace